Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know Lee. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Alcatraz Style Prison. It's getting to the point now that when we walk inside the prison, it's looking complete. Do you know what I mean? Like, we've got that sort of feel. If I drop down and we walk through, we've now got two stories complete. Is there two stories are complete, but we can walk through the jail prison here, uh, or the, the jail door, into the main cells. We can go up a floor to where the um, there's more cells and the canteen and kitchen behind us. And then we can go up another floor, which although isn't complete, is sort of feeling complete. We've got the cells ready to be fitted out. We've got the staircase up to the next floor. Uh, we've got the infirmary with a little um, sort of protection door on it because we're going to have knives and stuff in there, aren't we, being a, uh, being a, uh, a hospital. And then we've got where the classroom's going to be. I've got a, uh, what is it called? Metal detector. That's it on the way in. Because, I don't know, classroom, there might, there might be something in there. I don't know, but that's where the classroom is going to be anyway. So, I'm going to start off with the infirmary today. We're going to come in here. We're going to get our fluorescent bulbs. Fluorescent bulbies? What is that? Oh, Fluttershy. Is that a pony? i got a feeling that's a pony. <laughs> I don't know why. i just got a feeling it's a pony. I know there's a few cars for some reason uh, that have my little ponies all over it. Don't ask me why. It wasn't me that textured it. Uh, that one and that one. So, something very strange. I've never really been one for the My Little Pony crew. I have nothing against it. It's just not really my thing. Okay, beautiful. So, we've got some lights down here. And we'll have a couple of lights there, I think. That's where we're going to have the um, computers and office, I think, for them. We're going to get some beds down. I think the beds are probably the most important thing. And we're going to put the beds down this side. So, I want to have maybe two blocks between each one. So if we had one, two beds there, we can have another bed here and here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then that's a little bit close. I might just put an extra one there. So we've got five beds that we can have, okay? The reason why I've got two blocks between is because I want a little bit of room for the dog to be able to get in there. I don't want people to feel like they're too close to each other. Uh, we're going to want some stairs. Quartz stairs for the... Uh, desk here. Ooh, uh, how do I want to do this? So I want to wrap it. I think I want to wrap it around th there and there. Slabs. Then in the middle. I think that's cool to have a little wraparound desk like that. We should then get a nice black chair. Oh, I can get black in that stair. There we. Oops. There we go. For the chair for her to sit on. I don't know why it's her. I just got a feeling that it would be a her in my prison. I don't know why. Female doctor. Could be a male doctor. Doesn't really matter. I, I just said her. We'll have a painting. And we want to have the monitor painting. Hello. Like that. <laughs> Stare in the middle of nowhere. We want to have uh, the computer monitor one. There we go. And uh, maybe another one. That could be oh, I tell you what. Book. Yes. Hey. Look at this. Put that over that one. Yeah, write down notes in the book. That would be perfect. Bookshelf would be good as well. What's that? Ticket book for the railway. Not on that side. No, I don't think that. Maybe up here instead. Yeah, for some files. Maybe on the... I think I'm going to put that there and I'm going to move this over to that side. Or I might even put it there. Yeah, that's good. A couple of little bookshelves then just for uh, files on patients. Uh, things they might be allergic to, previous things that they've been in here for, things like that. We should grab a slab to just sit on top because I always think that looks better. I don't know why. I just like how that looks better. Uh, we want a nice clean block. I'm thinking iron probably, a nice iron. They look very uh, metal, very clean. I can only sleep at night. Yes, that is true. And uh, that one and that one. Uh, on these, it'd be cool if we could have some sort of medical supplies. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea retexturing the cake to look like uh, uh, med packs and stuff like that. That could be pretty cool. We might do that today. In fact, is there any like 3D texture to it? No. I might pop into Photoshop today. We might do that then. We can have a shelf along here. Right, put a couple of cakes on like that. It's going to look weird at the minute, but we can always pop into Photoshop and fix that. Uh, it would be cool if we could have something on 
the tables. Um, I, for towels, I would usually use banners, but this is 1.7, so I can't use that. But it'd be cool if we had uh, some, some of those about. Maybe some taller lamps. There ain't no white or clean, clean looking ones, is there? Okay, we shall forget about that. We should grab the iron blocks again, and we shall have some overhead cupboards. Uh, I think one there with a table below it. Maybe keep some medical supplies in there. We should have some up here as well. Oops. Uh, I don't think I can get an item frame on. I I probably will be able to, but I got them put that back. Yeah, that'll be good. And oh, that scared me for a minute there. And um, I don't think I've got any paintings that look like medical things. And I don't want to change paintings too much because this world does share with the city. And I don't want to mess too much up with that. But the cake being um, um, a first aid kit would look good. We can even do that in the hospital in the city itself. Let's get some item frames. And I think I want carpet. Some sort of grey or black carpet would be perfect for some drawers. We'll have the cupboards open that way because then it doesn't hit the bed. Look at me thinking ahead like that. And that one and that one. Oops, not an uh, item frame. And item. Yo, dog, I heard you like item frames. We should have that one. Oops, and that one. And I think I can then put the fluorescent back there. Yeah, it doesn't pop off good. Oh, maybe sometimes like Minecraft's funny and it like doesn't like it when you have things on things like that and it'll they'll, they'll sort of jump off. Uh, in the floor, we want probably like a red and white carpet. I think would be nice. Sort of suits the whole room. Uh, maybe even do it in like a uh, in like a cross. Yeah, that sort of works. It looks a little bit like the England flag. It sort of looks like a little bit like the England flag, but it does sort of work. The only other one that we could do would be um, carpet and use green. Now, I don't have the lime green. See, that doesn't look too bad either, just as a carpet design. I think, I think I just prefer the white, though. It's a close call. It is, it is a red cross with white, isn't it, most of the time? It's not a white cross with red, is it? I've got a feeling it's got to be a red cross. No, that's like Switzerland. <laughs> just just a random Switzerland flag on the floor. Um, I could make it bigger then. Like, we could do it like that. I think that sort of works a little bit better, but I think it should be probably down here instead, typically. And then I could even do it probably around the whole lot. That's going to drive me nuts with that door opening and closing. That looks cool. Now that works. That's, that mat is now big enough that it actually doesn't look that bad. Uh, is there anything else that we could use? In item frames on shelves and stuff like that for, um, to, to, to make it look like there's equipment there. Like knives. I don't think I've got like anything like knives or anything cool like that that we, that would work in, in this sort of place. I mean, some shelves. I might put some shelves there. We could have some black shelves. I'll grab those just in case. I mean, I could use a sword, but I don't think that really is going to work that well. Bones, that could be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that that does work. Um, there's also, I think, a blood splat somewhere in here as well. That might work. Uh, name tag. Hey, these work. These are like, uh, I should have these in the morgue though, not in the infirmary. The morgue's outside the prison. Uh, but the uh, there's a thing called toe tags, and in a morgue, when someone dies, they go to the morgue. Uh, so they can be identified, because they can't exactly tell you what their name is, can they? Uh, they put a little tag, it looks exactly like that, like a little name tag with a little hook around it. That hooks on the person's toe, and then that's how they can tell uh, who's on the bed, who's in front of them. I thought it was pretty cool, toe tags. I might be able to hang those up somewhere, little cars. Yeah, we put it. Oh yeah, we do have these med kits as well, they could work well. I think it's another type of med, yeah, there's this one, deployable one. We'll see what they look like. 
Apart from that, I don't think we want any other type of gun in here, do we? I don't think that really works that well. Is there any knife? See, these combat knives, they sort of look like... It sort of looks like a knife that a hospital worker would have, sort of. I think it's probably the best one that we've got out of the selection that we have here. We could always retexture it, but anything else. There's so much stuff down here. Swiss Army knife. <laughs> not, not the best tool. Uh, wrench. Not really the best tool. <laughs> we do have... <gasps> there's handcuffs in here somewhere. Hold on. Let's just finish off this. I've never thought of that before. Anything here that we can use? What's that? Force field controller, of course. Hand cuffs. Yes. I don't know if they work. Like they click as if they could. Oh. They click as if they could work on something. Uh, wand. Let's just give it a go. If I wandered a guy, and could I handcuff him? Oh no, he's just talking to me. Now that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? If you could. Uh, actually have handcuffs in there, handgun. No. Okay, fair enough. He just keeps saying hello to me. Delete. It's still cool to have. We should really put these down below, shouldn't we? Have these down. It's so cool being able to wander through the prison and know where you're going now. So we'll have some of these. Maybe on this shelf. Like we could have shelf over here. Uh, item frame. With yes, oh yeah, one hundred percent. That looks so cool. And uh, maybe have a few in here as well. Maybe just like sitting on the desk like that. Yeah, that looks so cool. Okay, yeah, we have no medic. We have no medical supplies like anywhere in here. So the hospital de or the infirmary definitely does need some here. I love how those doors open by themselves as well. That's so handy. Uh, that's the kitchen. Oh, no, that is the infirmary. Through here. Okay, we want... Now, these get set down. But I don't... Oh, where am I? And uh, you can use them. Like, they will heal you. But I didn't really want it on the floor. I sort of wanted it up here. Yeah, like that. Now, you can get rid of them somehow. But I don't know if I need to get injured first. Game. Mode. Oops. Survival. How am I going to injure myself? Not easily. How am I going to injure myself? <laughs> Game mode. Creative. Um, I don't really want to blow myself up with TNT or anything like that. What if I got, like, a bow and some arrows? Survival. I haven't got, like, the headroom to be able to shoot myself. How about in the stairs? I just need to try and get rid of it. You can't, like, break it or anything. I re I healed. Um, I could do this here. Creative. Yeah, that'll, that'll be good. Oops. Heal. Heal. I think that worked. I think you need to... I think they've got, like, a certain amount of hearts. Ow. That was a good one. I think they've got a certain amount of hearts that they can heal, though. Ooh, ah, it's so hard. You need to be so quick. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're getting down. There we go. It's gone. Whew, we got rid of that. Creative. So, be careful where you put these. These ones... Oh, these ones you just use in your hand. Let me full of love. So those ones you just use in your hand. These ones are deployable. We'll have one either on this one. Yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. And uh, maybe one more up here. Yeah, excellent. Uh, we want uh, combat. It's a shame. 
it's a shame there's no such thing as like a horizontal item frame how item frames can go on the front of blocks it'd be cool if you could get an item frame and stick it facing down on top that would be cool because then you could place items in them like that and it would look like they were sitting on top of the table i know there's certain mods that will like give you plates that you can then put food on uh, and so there's some tables as well there's some modded tables that will allow you to do a very similar thing and place items straight on top but a very simple fix would just be an item frame. That would work. I'd be happy with that. But uh, we're going to have to do it like that instead. You can't really see it against that wall. No. Okay, we're going to have to miss the, the knife idea then. We'll have a toe tag. And could I put a toe tag behind that one? I think that would be cool. Yeah. Uh, chest. Or crate or barrel. Uh, hang on, I gotta do it because I think it would be so cool. Not exactly funny, we'll have it in a black one. Uh, knife. We'd have a barrel with bones in it. <laughs> that that has to be done, right? Like, <laughs> it's, we've got we've got some sort of mad. Uh, it's a snail. <laughs> we've got some sort of <laughs> mad nurse in here. That if you need. Something amputated, like, like, like they've been stabbed or their 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 fingers hanging off, and she says, "Look, I can't do anything with it. I've just got to remove it." So they just cut off, and she just puts it in a barrel. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I like having mad things like that. Uh, we'd have a couple of shelves. Yeah, I could have a shelf. That shelf looked quite good there. A shelf there and a shelf there. Then I could put some item frames up a little bit higher. There, there, and there. And um, handcuffs. I don't think I want any handcuffs in. No, I might have a couple of pairs of handcuffs in here. That that wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't mind what, what orientation they are. That probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Just have a couple of them in there. And then we'll have a little med kit in that one. There we go. Sweet. Okay, I think we've got enough time to jump into Photoshop and uh, and try and retexture a cake. So I shall be back. It's so Tiny. Now, there's actually quite a few to cake. There's the icon that you'll have in your hand. There's the bottom of the cake, the inside of the cake when you take slices, the side of the cake, and the top of the cake. Now, what I want to... Oh, come on, zoom in. Come on, zoom in. There we go. So, that's the top of the cake. And you can see it's just smaller than a full block. Then we've got the side of the cake. And we've got the bottom of the cake. They're the only three that I'm bothered about. I'm not really that worried about the icon because we've got actual med kits. Uh, like the green one is used when to just click on. Like when you've got it in your hand, you just click on it and it'll heal you, I think, two or three times. And then it runs out and it'll disappear. I think it's actually got a durability bar on it, actually. It's got a durability bar. Once the durability runs out, it's gone. But it's like three or four heals worth. And then you've got the deployable one, which is the red one that we saw that you place on the ground. And when you're hurt, you can then go over it and click on it. And it'll heal you that way. And after so many hearts of that, being heal of that healing you, that'll disappear too. This is just one that I want to have down just on a table somewhere, just mostly for show. So I don't need to worry about the icon. I don't need to worry about the inside. So I think the top is probably an important place to start. And this red isn't actually too close. I'm going to make up my own red, though. I want something just not quite bright red, but just something just slightly off red. And uh, we're going to retexture this. We're going to make the whole thing just a, a red square for the moment. Oh, or green. Maybe a dark green. Maybe a, maybe a green would be better. We've already got a red one, and we've got a light green one that you hold in the hand. So maybe a sort of darkish green. Yeah, like that green for this med kit with a white cross on it instead. That that would probably be the best. So nice and simple. We just cover this up. I always like to go block colors first, and then we do the shading towards the end. So this is the top. We want a white cross on this. So we're going to grab ourselves some white. And we want to have a minimum of that. But I think we want to have it a little bit bigger. I think we can go a lot bigger than that, actually. Like this. Look at this cool pattern. Shump. Shoops. Shump. And shump. I think that's pretty good. I don't want nothing too crazy. So we'll have that. And then we want to get some darker green. So we're going to click that green again. We're going to make it a little bit darker for the bottom side. Oh, no, I don't like that. That's a little bit too uh, military green. I want something a bit more like that. 
Yeah, there we go. I'm going to do that around the bottom and on the right. And then we're going to get a lighter green to go along the top. Nope, don't like that green. It looked better in the preview. A little bit more over. There we go. There, perfect. To go along the top and down the left. Just going to give that little 3D sort of effect a little bit. We're going to do the same with the white. We're going to get the white. We're going to get a little bit of a grey going on. And uh, we'll have the lighter. Again, on the top left of anything. So on anything that's top and anything that's on left, we'll have that. And then on the bottom right side, we're going to get a little bit of a darker grey. For the bottoms and the rights. I think I want to go all the way up to the tops with them. And that one, and that's a top. We'll have that one, that one, and that one. And there we go. We've got a nice sort of cross on the top there. Looks very embossed. I really like it. So let's grab this green, and we want to do the same on the bottom here. So we're just going to, well, I could just copy and paste, to be honest, couldn't I? I can grab that. I can copy it and paste it over here. I don't need the cross on the bottom, though. There's not really much point, so we might as well cover all this up. We'll just leave the sort of texture like that. And then on the uh, side here, we want to get... I've got that green already. We want to... Chink. There we go. We shall have this coming across. And again, we want to do the lighter green and the darker green. I don't think we really need anything on the side. Would it be, be Would you want anything on the side? Like a, a line for the box to open wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? We'll have that then. We shall grab the lighter green again for any top and left sides. And the darker one for any bottom and right sides. Okay, then I want a little line that goes through it. Uh, maybe using a darker green than that. We'll see. It might. We might want it less blue. How did I get blue? <laughs> we want a darker green to come along there. Then it looks like that's where the box is going to open up. I can't put a latch on it because the cake shares the same side for everything. Um, so I can't do that. So all we've got to do is now save these in their correct places. Um, I'm going to have to find where all these are. I shall save them and I shall go back, okay? What has happened? Why is everything nether brick? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's because uh, I didn't have Minecraft closed down when I edited the cake texture into a medikit box. So um, the graphics didn't update, the texture pack didn't update. So in order to update them without closing Minecraft down, all you've got to do is turn your texture pack off and then turn it back on again. And this is what it looks like with the texture pack turned off. <laughs> Everything's nether brick, like the entire world is nether brick. So what we can do is we can go in here. We could turn it back on again. Just wait a couple of seconds for it to update. There is a shortcut to do this without having to take the texture pack off and then put it back on again. It's an F3 thing. And I always I always get told what it is and I always forget what it is. It's like F3 and Y or something like that. And then there we go. We've got ourselves our med kit. It looks pretty cool. We've got the box for it. Now, if you did click on them when you were hungry, you would eat the med box. <laughs> And it would have cake inside. You could always retexture the inner of the cake to make it look like it's got bandages or a syringe inside of it. But it would all look the same all the way down. It's up to you if you want to do that. I think this looks pretty cool though as, a, as an infirmary, right? I think that looks pretty cool. Definitely. If you guys enjoyed the episode though, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. That is all that we've got time for this episode, unfortunately. I thought we would have got a little bit more done. But uh, I had a lot of fun doing all those texture stuff. Uh, we shall see you guys in the next episode.